How Do You Know? by John Dunia. Personal development ought to be a daily objective for everyone. Are there common signs or indicators that plainly tell us when we have developed emotionally? How do we know when there's been any kind of self-growth or personal development? Shouldn't the answers be as evident as a bolt of lightning or a crash of thunder? When my healing journey began in mid-2012, I can recall some aha moments where I began to get a better understanding of who I was. Typically, they are not moments of fanfare or jubilation, but smaller instances which felt more like a light becoming brighter in a poorly lit room. If there was a moment which I would consider my most significant realization, it would have to be the session which I fondly refer to as my own Independence Day. On February 22, 2013, everything clicked, and I knew moving forward, things were going to be better. There are no set patterns for when it occurs, and there are always times personal growth happens when we aren't even aware. Recently, I reconnected with someone I knew 30 years ago. He had heard about my book and wanted to purchase a copy. A month later, he was in Las Vegas and we arranged to meet and discuss questions he had concerning my book. The subject of happiness came up and as an example, he explained to me that after working for years on his home and spending tens of thousands of dollars, he expected to feel much happier when it was finally completed. I could see a puzzling look on his face when he realized this pursuit for happiness didn't work as well as he imagined. It was an aha moment for him, but certainly not one of those joyous moments we prefer to happen with personal development. Sometimes, I told him, self-growth just sucks, causing us both to chuckle. Frequently, when this kind of growth occurs, it's because we discover something about ourselves which needs changing or improving. Admitting to this is not easy. It hints a failure because of the realization of our thinking or actions were wrong. However, once we commit to fixing it, we quickly feel better about coming to this understanding. Our conversation about happiness continued, this time with a positive aha moment. He explained the night before was the first time he'd ever been to Las Vegas by himself and could have gone anywhere and done anything he wanted. However, it was late and he decided to stay in his room. Another bewildered look appeared, but after discussing it, he realized he didn't need the excitement of the Las Vegas Strip that evening, so he went to bed. Isn't that what happiness is about, I asked? Simply being at a place of contentment so that we don't need anything else to fill our perceived void? This time there was a different, more pleasant gaze. The satisfying look of accomplishment. I don't know about him, but that is one aha moment I will never forget. Personal growth and development can be a daily occurrence. It doesn't need to feel like a huge triumph and may feel like a temporary setback. The moments of victory will happen, but focus each day on something that will influence you to be a more positive human being.